This is a lot of day drinking. It's like a book club. <laughs> I really like that one. That's <laughs> true. I love book club. And then my wife was in a, my wife was in a book club, and then she couldn't handle it because no one read it, and she was too hammered all the time. <laughs> She's like, "Don't tell me the end of Hunger Games." No, I'm just kidding. She reads the paper. <laughs> uh, thanks, everybody. And here we go.
Now take a drink. Drink break. Mm. Is everyone having their pins and needles cocktail? Pins and needles? Here, clink it. Here, here, do it by the mic. Theater of the mind. I love doing these things. Mm. This is one of the okay XP, first of all, you know what I'm saying? There's not a lot of those in the world. But this is one of those moments where I get real close to you guys. And I know you get a little nervous. These are those moments where the, the only people who are nervous are not the band. And when I stare at people, like a specific person, during a song, their head starts to shake, like they're into it, like that. Like, you don't have to do that. But I play a little game where I stare, and then I stare at the next person, and their head moves. And it's, you know, it's like my way of, it's my only, the only way I can feel like I have superpowers in some ways. Like just underneath scanners. <laughs> In a fair of wanderlust I see you in a black hole Reaching out for something just Silhouettes of neighbors Dancing in disgust I'm sure you recognize my noise And you've heard about the pit Been told to be afraid of everything That lives within It's much worse where you are So will you go for it? I had this feeling you might Feeling you might But somebody somewhere Clean out your wounds Our dirty fingers Will bury the lie But somebody somewhere Clean out your wounds Bury the lie, yeah, yeah. Bury the lie, yeah, yeah. All right. Too now we tumble down a hill to a fire with a crowd. Becomes thicker as we bottom out The residents don't even notice Our sudden shout When your eyes adjust And you see what's in view Discolored and distempered Smiles that seem new Do you realize they were all What's like you? I have this feeling you might Feeling you might, yeah, yeah. And you heard about the pit 
told him be afraid of everything that comes with it We can talk about this later, but I think We can talk about it later, but I think you've given it. I had this feeling you might be able to. Thank you. So, this is a brand new one, and um, this goes out to Cheryl. Cheryl. Who usually is usually here with us when we do KXP, but she's hiding. Cheryl. Come out to Come out play. To play. It is Cheryl. <laughs> Seen a license. Ready? Ready.
Thank you. I just saw a bunch of people outside trying to get in just to have a drink. Uh, like, damn it. KXP. <laughs> Foiled my daytime hatred drinking. <laughs> this place is beautiful in here. It really is. Well done, chaps. Well done, sun liquor. Well done, sun liquor. You'll see our, our lawyer for <laughs> Named after, uh, yeah, I mean, we own the sun. So it was a long battle, but we got it. Neil deGrasse Tyson had it for a long time. It's ours now. Only on KXB can you make a deGrasse Tyson joke. <laughs> and it slays. Ready? Ready. You know what we're doing? I think so. Doesn't matter. Here we go. <laughs>
stinks. It's the personal time. <laughs> I'm ready when you're ready. Actually, I'm ready now. All right. We should be too. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. Yeah, thanks. This is new, right? Yeah, it's new. I think so. Major blues are from B. Watch me for the changes and try to keep up.
you. Nope, Mickey's leaving. Thanks, everybody. I love it when you hear drinks and glasses being ordered and stuff like that. Because this is the closest that I'll, like a Nighthawks at the diner kind of moment, you know what I mean? So this is <laughs> that's awesome. I was just say play cocktail bars constantly. <laughs> is it sad that the clinking of drinks makes me comfy? <laughs> Good, this is the right focus group to ask.
you so much, everybody. What a pleasure. Really, really nice. Thank you. Fantastic. Cheers, Thank everybody. you, guys. First of all, so much for uh, uh, doing this for everybody. Thanks, and, Not Cheryl. And uh, that is what they call me. My uh, nickname is actually Not Cheryl. She's That's hiding for real, right? <laughs> Because we get into some intense discussions. You're, yes. Well, we I'm do. Sh- I'm sure you'll see her while you're in Seattle. No, I don't it think so. It has to happen, no, right? Otherwise the, otherwise, the universe doesn't make any sense. <sighs> I know, right? My, my mind is blue. You, uh, <laughs> you definitely keep true to your word. The first time that I met you guys <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, was about seven or eight years ago. You played the Triple Door. It was another sort oh, of yeah. KEXP thing. And That's I, what that place was called. We were going crazy trying to figure yeah. out what the name of that place was. Yeah, the Triple yeah. Door. And I was hosting that, uh, that afternoon as well. And, oh, yeah, that was you. Stage, oh, you look <laughs> great. How do you, how do you forget this? You look amazing. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I don't want to brag, but uh, I agree. You really, you really are. You are you're, not too shabby you're yourself. Sharp, you're sharpening up a little, you know what I mean? You clean up nice. <laughs> thank you. Thank yeah. you. Uh, so from the stage during that show, you had mentioned in between songs, you said, we will do anything KEXP asks us to do. Yes. And uh, look at you, thank seven you. or eight years later, sticking yes. true to that. So thank you so much for oh, taking yeah. time. Oh, yeah, well, yep. it's not hard. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you ask us to do fun things. <laughs> true. So it's not like you're so brave for sticking to your word and playing this really, really great, cool spot in Seattle. Um, no, KXP, I mean, it's really important to us. It's not just because we think they're super cool, but th- from our world... Uh, they were really supportive of us outside of our home. Mm-hmm. Uh, wait, I, I'm talking like they're dead. You, you <laughs> they were so nice. Too bad they died <laughs> in that blimp accident. Um, uh, no, was, they, they started spreading the word on us, which was really bizarre to us that Seattle was the first place that people knew us outside of Los Angeles because they would play a song called Kissing Families. And it was really shocking to us to come up here and see people new as it all and so this ep that we have called pikel we ended up touring on it for a while mainly because of kexp absolutely i remember championing that and, and so uh, i think we get excited and we get nervous like wow if, at the end of the day when we make another record if we play on kexp again then it's okay right if we don't we really blew it <laughs> <laughs> but i'm sure in our mind will be like oh they got, they got corporate now they're stupid now <laughs> Not got a new building. Yet. Ever since yeah, the, uh, you guys hit the stage that day at the Triple Door, and uh, I was absolutely just you're really holding on away. to that. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was. It was good. a life changing moment for me. I know, I know. You were such a different person. I was before that. I was. You Cheryl. had all those tattoos on your face. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so what I was gonna, uh, also going to get at is that this idea came about uh-huh. because I was thinking to myself, well. Silver Sun pickups were named after a liquor store. Exactly, that was going close back by. to my lawyer comment earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there was a Silver Sun liquor, right? Yeah, it's still there. And what you would do is you would call it a Silver Sun pickup when you went and picked up liquor. Is that well, correct? Well, not well. That was a po- you, not would you, just liquor. Not cat, like, cat food, paper towels. They had good deals on paper towels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously it was. There was definitely <laughs> booze involved, but it was open. And yeah. we lived above it, and we, yeah, cat food was a big pickup. Yeah, because we always forgot to get cat food, and we're like, oh. Constantly getting cat food at that liquor store. <laughs> and when we named our band, we didn't have any songs, and we just, we knew each other for a while, and we, and we named, we just wanted to name our band. I remember the time thinking about Beachwood Sparks was really a big thing in Los Angeles, and just sort of bands that were coming out that had some, something imprinted locally, in a way, and we lived basically on the corner of Silver Lake and Sunset, um, in that liquor store we were always at, and it just came like, it, some reason it sounded like something that honored where we started from, and <clears throat> in a weird way, it kind of sounded like a, a little gang to me. Like, I liked the idea yeah. if we came in and we were the pickups or something. I don't know, who knows why, we're stuck with it. He, he just mentioned it one night after we were leaving the cl- a local club, and um, I, I said, sure, sounds I was like, good. Hey, how about Silver's and Pickups for a band? I'm like, cool, okay. All right, now let's and we write just drove songs. Home. <laughs> It turned out to be harder than the band name. Well, obviously it worked. Yeah. Well, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. But the, the guy, <laughs> the liquor store is still there, but the neighborhood, as you know, in Seattle, you guys have these neighborhoods. Everywhere has neighborhoods. Everyone wants to move back in the city, right? The city is now, have condos everywhere. It's nonsense. And Silver Lake, where, where we lived at that time, the early 2000s, was 
in the beginning of that gentrification, you know, and now it's hit its core where it's a billion dollar neighborhood and it's really silly. And there's the Silver Sun liquor. I'm proud that the only thing really gross still <laughs> it stands. is the Silver Sun liquor like store. Like a beacon of light. It yeah. is, and what's great is yeah. they redid it once. Uh, about seven years ago, they redid it because it used to look really in that perfect Los Angeles. Like people we know who come to Los Angeles are really fascinated, especially our pe people from Europe. They love strip malls and stuff like that. Like every time we take them, oh I know, I know, yours, but yours are gross, ours are real. It's real. <laughs> ours are real, man, that's where the stuff happens. Those, those scary spaces that are empty and things go on behind there, that's what I like. And uh, like people always wanna come see those things. We always try to take them to the nice stuff. You know, oh, it's like, see this, the gold building. No, 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 we wanna see the weird strip malls and stuff. So that thing used to look like this super duper just crazy old strip mall from, from some other like Manson era. You know what I mean? Marilyn Manson, of course. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, Charles, oh, you know him? Yeah. But you know, something really spooky and they redid it. They spent all this money redoing it and we were so nervous, like great. And they redid it in 2007 into this thing that looked like, the, like, like some place that the friends would hang out in. It was like yeah. 1990s it style. Like, it, it looked With, like their 80s plans yeah, finally no, came through. Yeah. Like, <laughs> And this big letters that said Silver Sun Liquor. And the great thing is one day later, the silver part burned out already. So it's still just Urson. <laughs> Urson Liquor. Yeah. Uh, I was in that neighborhood not too long ago, well, about five, oh, years, bragging. five years ago. Well, I was in that neighborhood because oh. I went and interviewed and hung out with Dave Cooley, who oh, is an important person. Oh, he's the boss. He made our first two records. And, uh, yep, and he, uh, we interviewed him for uh, some adventure that we were on and he was nice enough to invite us in and he made he, we barbecued in his little yard there and he was just in the Highland. sweetest guy but Re he, recently uh it was like five years ago oh yeah i don't i'm not sure if he still lives in the same place but i know he worked at yeah he died that's this is really weird <laughs> um no, no. it's awkward uh yeah, he, he made your first two records yeah. did, did he have anything to do with the new record or did you guys do this all yourself we did well he was the producer off on the first two records and then the these this uh, one before this was called neck of the woods and this one's called better nature and they are from a guy named jack knife lee who's this crazy nutball that we met through a friend of ours lovable nut lovable nutball oh he's amazing he's super lovable but he's insane <laughs> But we're all insane, aren't we? A we're all in this room on together. Some level. <laughs> some, yeah. there, there's something about us all in here that we all make right decisions, but slightly the right wrong ones. If you know what I mean. Does this feel more lighthearted, just doing an in-store and uh, in-studio appearances, in-store appearances, rather than the full bands? Kind of must be kind of nice. Just a, a, a little bit of a change. Less gear is yeah, always a lot less, less gear. Fantastic. <laughs> less gear, but we carry more gear. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is a. Uh, this is, we're, this, yeah, it's one of our favorite things to do are these things. Yeah. And some of them are a little wackier than others. In stores and things involving people are always really good. There's some things you do where you're in a room with two people that own something. <laughs> and you're like, oh, yeah, this is, this is rough. I'm like, okay, dance, monkey dance. Play, uh, yeah. Please play me. <laughs> Well, the yeah. new album is called Better Nature. <laughs> no, no, no. But this, this thing is fantastic. Yeah. These things yeah. are fantastic. When there's okay. people, there's radio stations, things like that. It's like really is a chance for, for, because the other, the other thing is really fun too. And we love doing that. It's a big circus in a way. There's a lot of moving parts and we don't get to actually see people as much as we yeah, like right. to. And this is, especially Nikki and I do this a lot. And for us, it's so exciting. We can talk to people and, you yeah. know, See, I don't know, just be a We could part interrupt of it. our show with an interview. Yeah, we can interrupt our show with a no nosy interview. Over you know here. what's funny? During, a, during Panic Switch, I. Mr. I've been to Silver Lake, look at me. I almost walked out here during when you took the little bass break. I yeah. almost walked out and was like, ladies and gentlemen, Silver Sun Pickup. Yeah. So I almost interrupted the song. That would have yeah. been a. That, a well, that would have been okay. I would have yeah. loved here, I'm a Brian. second of that. So, Brian, I'm going to make up for it. I have something for you. I have a garbage pail kid for you. It's Brainy oh, Brian. Oh, man. That's for you to have. I'm really glad. Okay, this is great. <laughs> because for some reason, every time I get coffee anywhere, people think my name's Brain. Yeah. <laughs> brain? And I just always think, like, wow, somebody goes, it was a Brian? No, it was brain. It had to be brain. <laughs> and I'm very happy that you gave this to me because it's a Brian with an I. And I've never met those Brian with a Ys before, but they're the worst. They're wrong. It's, it's incorrect. They have it? no souls. 
I don't think they exist. But if I meet one, oh. Well, the new album's called Better Nature. It comes out September 25th. Hey, thanks for this. It's cool. What yeah, about of course. So, this is a really nice present and very rude because I don't see a uh, yeah, Nutty Nikki or anything yeah. like that. I know. I actually yeah. looked for one. I looked for one. Oh, and I, nice. Did you? It, I still collect these. I, I feel like this has been yours for a I long time. I looked in my collection. I've been hanging <laughs> on that since the day after that Triple Door show eight <laughs> years ago to give to you. Here, Nikki, I'll let you have this. Thanks, Brian. You're welcome. You can write on it that. It looks just like you. It does look like me. Yeah. This is great radio. Look at this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he kind of looks like Albert Einstein. All right. Keep it going for Silver Sun Pickups, everybody. And let's, uh, let's also hear it for Sun Liquor. Thank you guys yeah. so much for having us. You'll be hearing from our lawyer. Who's also a stripper. So thanks again, everybody, for coming and supporting KEXP and Silver Sun Pickups. We appreciate it. Love you guys. Thank you. Discover great music at kexp.org.